Mesoamerica describes Central America before the 16th century Spanish conquest. Although its civilizations had not come into contact with major ones from other continents, Mesoamerica witnessed the rise of extraordinary peoples who shared several cultural, dietary, and religious traits. The Almecs were the earliest known major Mesoamerican civilization and laid many of the foundations for the civilizations that followed. They were the first to practice ritual bloodletting, for example, the piercing of an individual's body part, such as the tongue, and then burning the blood. Such practice was performed publicly by elites on the summits of pyramids to legitimize their prominent social, political, or ideological position. The Almecs were also the first to play the Mesoamerican ball game, a sport with ritual associations that is still played by the indigenous populations in some places. Monumental sacred complexes, the drinking of chocolate and animal gods were all features of Almic culture, but they're probably best known for their colossal heads, 20-ton stone heads commemorating their rulers. The name Almic is an Aztec word meaning the rubber people because they traded rubber throughout Mesoamerica. Their prosperity was initially based on exploiting the fertile coastal areas of the Gulf of Mexico to grow such crops of the Mesoamerican diet such as corn and beans. The Almic society lasted from around 1600 BCE to around 350 BCE when environmental factors made their villages unlivable. The Almics were outlived in other places by the Maya, another great indigenous people that carried the Mesoamerican heritage. Maya is just a modern term, but these various peoples did not have a sense of political unity. They were just united by belief systems, cultural practices and style, and the writing system. Today, their descendants live in Mexico and Central America, numbering well over 6 million individuals and speak more than 28 surviving Maya languages. The Classic period, which began around 250, was the golden age of the Maya Empire. They made advanced art forms and sculpted monuments, raised pyramid buildings aligned for astronomical observation, sophisticated a ritual calendrical system that recorded solar and lunar cycles with great accuracy, and they developed a complex trade network between dozens of city-states, such as Chichen Itza, totaling 2 to 10 million people. The Maya formed a very hierarchical society, and each city had a divine king who was thought to act as a mediator between people and the supernatural realm. The Maya elite were literate and developed a very complex system of hieroglyphic writing and extensively recorded their history and ritual knowledge. They employed mathematics that included one of the earliest known instances of explicit zero in human history. As part of their religion, the Maya believed in the cyclical nature of life and they practiced human sacrifice as blood was considered a source of nourishment for their deities. The Maya civilization may have declined in several areas by the 9th century, marking the end of the classic period and the beginning of the post-classical period due to a combination of factors including overpopulation, drought and warfare between the different city-states. A major influence on the Maya was brought by Teotihuacan. The city was initially a cult center and became at some point the largest cosmopolitan city in the pre-Columbian Americas. It is today the most visited archaeological site in Mexico, featuring many of the most significant Mesoamerican pyramids. Around 600 artworks and religious sculptures of Teotihuacan were deliberately destroyed in what must have been a complete change of the ruling elite. Continuing the Mesoamerican heritage left to them by earlier cultures, the Toltecs were a warlike people that were also noted as fine builders and craftsmen. Their impressive capital, Tolan, shows signs of violent destruction by the mid-12th century, and what ended their regional dominance is still unclear. Most information on the Toltecs comes from the subsequent Aztecs, who regarded them very highly. They looked on the Toltec period as a golden age when architecture and sculpture reached new heights. For example, chamcools used in sacrifices, skull racks, and the Toltec deity Feathered Serpent that would later appear in the Aztec pantheon all attest to the influence the Toltecs would have had on their more famous successors. So the Aztecs were different ethnic people who spoke Nahuatl. They were also known as the Tenochka, from which the name for their capital city, Tenochtitlan, was derived, or also the Mexica, a name later used by the Spanish to call the region. 
Their duality of sophisticated agriculture, including intensive cultivation of land and irrigation methods, and a powerful military tradition would enable them to build an empire. Aztec warriors were able to dominate their neighboring states and permit Montezuma, the father of the Aztec Empire, to impose Aztec ideals and religion across the region. Established in 1427, the Aztec Empire was therefore a confederation of three self-governed city-states, although everything was effectively ruled from the capital Tenochtitlan. The empire reached its maximal extent and was still developing almost a century after its establishment, just prior to the arrival of 500 Spanish conquistadores from the Old World led by Hernán Cortés. Cortés allied with city-states within the Aztec Empire and took advantage of their opposition of the hegemony of the Mexica and Tenochtitlan. A combination of superior weaponry and the devastating smallpox outbreak enabled the Spanish to conquer Tenochtitlan and put an end to the Aztecs, last of the great Mesoamerican civilizations. Mexico City was founded on the ruins of Tenochtitlan and the whole continent would transform forever with the rise of the Spanish Empire, with Christianity, slavery, the introduction of a new culture, new forms of trade and agriculture. Many scholars today acknowledge the Spanish invasion as a purge of indigenous people who at their height had rich and complex mythological and religious traditions and who achieved remarkable architectural and artistic accomplishments.